I was just eating some dinner when I saw the craziest thing. I saw this guy just flying down a mountain in some rollerblade suit thing? I don't know, but it was glorious. And it was by far the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. And I knew, right there, in that moment, I gotta have it. Yes! Let's go! We're building a rollerblade suit! Alright, if I'm gonna build a rollerblade suit, I'm gonna need a lot of wheels. Cause I'm gonna have to attach wheels all over my body. So I went looking for wheels, and I found some wheels throughout the garage. And although this was a good start, there was no way that this was gonna be enough to make a whole roller suit. And the only wheels I had left in the garage were from my skateboard, but that was signed by Tony the Hawk. Hey, I'm Tony the Hawk. I was gonna need more wheels, and I was willing to do whatever it takes to get them. Cause you see, there's a bigger reason as to why I need this roller suit. And honestly, it's pretty embarrassing. Okay, so every weekend my friends and I have been going rollerblading together and they're good. And I mean really good. And me, well, I, I have the balance of a toddler and I am just not good at rollerblading at all. And man, I would do anything to stop their stares of disgust and judgment. I mean, look at them. But can you even blame them though? You see, if I could just lay down in a roller suit, I would have no problem keeping up with my friends. Now while I wait for all those skates to arrive, I'm gonna get started on this suit. Okay, so there's three main parts I gotta build, and that's the arms, the chest, and the legs. So when I lay down like this, I'll be flying across the floor. I think I'm gonna start by building the legs. Now I know what you're thinking. Jake, how could you possibly be bad at rollerblading? Those monster calves provide such a low center of gravity and brute force. You should be blading circles around your friends. And I know. I know, I'm just as confused as you are. But that's why we're building the rollerblade suit, you know? Okay, so I need to figure out a way to get these wheels to stick like right here. That way I can run and drop onto my knees, but instead of breaking my legs, I'll be power sliding across the ground like this guy. Now I've built a lot of things, but none of them have been directly bolted to my body, except for the time that I built these bicycle roller skates. But this was supposed to be attached like all over my body, so this was gonna take some serious precision. Okay, so now I gotta attach the wheels to this thing. So I attached the wheels to that thing, and it worked great. Okay, now that the wheels came, it was time to unbox these things, rip everything apart, and build the coolest roller suit the world has ever seen. Oh, and these wheels? These wheels were super sick. All right, you can barely see it on camera, but these wheels light up. So do these wheels. So do these wheels. Now, this is honestly super exciting for me because so far, the biggest disappointment of getting older was when they stopped making light-up sneakers in my size. Okay, well, now that I've got a ton of wheels, it's time to make another one of these. So I just started building another one of those things and oh my gosh, you guys are not gonna believe what I just found. Light up sneakers in my size? What? Okay, I'm gonna pretend that that didn't just ruin my entire day and I'm gonna continue. <coughs> oh God, <coughs> a fly just flew into my mouth. Oh. Okay, these things are done. I guess it's time to try them out. Ow, okay, okay. These, uh, these kind of hurt my legs a little bit. But to my surprise, they worked exactly as I intended them to. Okay, so these roll around pretty good, but they're extremely painful. And I still need to figure out a way to get them to stick to my legs. Yeah, a way to stick to my legs that doesn't hurt my shins like crazy. So I went to go do some research on the matter when I stumbled across these two goofballs sitting on the couch watching soccer. And that's when it hit me. Shin guards. I could attach the wheels to shin guards, keeping them tight to my legs and keeping my shins protected. Hey, Purple Dude, you still got your shin guards? You see, Purple Dude here used to play soccer professionally, so I know he has shin guards. No, 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 I got rid of them. Now, I can tell he's lying by the way his eyes twitching. He just doesn't want to give them to me because he knows I'm going to ruin them. Dude, I know you still have them. Just let me borrow them. You're just going to ruin them. See? What'd I tell you? You're always screwing stuff to other stuff and making weird things. In his defense, you are always doing that. I, all right, I know, but I'll pay you back. <sighs> They're in the freezer. Now these things are gonna be perfect. So not only did these look sick, but they were also gonna do a great job of fulfilling my childhood dream of becoming a transformer. So we can go ahead and cross that one off the bucket list. Okay, I'm not showing you my legs yet because I feel like morally obligated to tell you that if you're standing up, you should sit down. And if you're sitting, you should stand because these are insane and the literal coolest things I have ever put on my body. 
Tell me these aren't insane. Tell me these aren't the coolest things. Don't tell me that because then you'd be a liar. But okay, here's the moment of truth. Let's try these things out. Oh, yo, what? Are you kidding me? That is insane. Check out how sick this is. Check out. What? Oh, right back up under the feet. These might be the coolest things I've ever built. <laughs> like the fact that I can just slam onto my knees like this and have it not hurt is insane. Okay, now I could ride these things all day, but I still gotta finish the rest of the suit. Now that the legs are done, I gotta do the chest and the arms. And I think I have an idea for the arms. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm thinking just do the same thing again. The only problem is my wheel supply is really limited and I don't have any more shin guards. Well, the answer was clear. I had no choice but to get online and order more shin guards. And as I laid down for a well-deserved slumber, the worst thing ever happened. Ah! A classic muscle cramp. Ow, 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 ow. Yo, dude, are you okay? Ow! Ow. What is happening to us right now? We got muscle cramps. What does that mean? It means we're dehydrated. Here, drink this. This smells incredible. I can't have it. My superhero diet only allows me to drink regular water. Ah! That is regular water. Just drink it. There's no way that's regular water. It tastes too good. Hey, would you guys quiet down in here? I'm trying to watch soccer. No, get out of here. Dude, it's just water. That flavor you're tasting, you're actually smelling. How is this possible? Our sponsor, Arab, has this bottle that flavors water with scent. That sounds totally fake. Are you guys talking about Arab? I love it. You had your chance and you blew it. You're not my dad. Dude, it's totally real. You just fill the bottle with regular water, then take one of the 15 different flavors of scent pods and stick it on the nozzle. Pull up on the pod to activate, and then boom, your regular water tastes like fruits and berries. This really makes drinking water more interesting. Where do I get it? One. Just click the link in the description and use code Jake10 to get 10% off. I'm gonna do that. And I'm also gonna, I'm gonna stop screaming because my cramp went away like a while ago. Honestly, same. Um, I'm gonna get some sleep. Good night. I awoke the next day wearing a different shirt because I've been sleep changing and I really need to talk to a doctor about that. But the doorbell rang and it was my shin guard. So that means it was time to get to work on finishing up this suit. So considering the remaining supply of wheels, I don't have enough to make this design again. So I'm gonna have to try something new. So I'm thinking about using these wheels and putting them on like right here. So this was actually like the easiest part of the whole build. I just needed to figure out a way to get the wheels off the roller skate. What's that guy doing back there? That was kind of creepy, but anyway, once I had those, I just needed to figure out a way to get the wheels onto the shin guards, which was really easy. Okay, now this looks pretty crazy. We just gotta do it one more time and the arms are done. Now this was pretty much like the halfway point of the whole build, and all I could think about is how crazy it was gonna be to be blading circles around my friends when I finished this suit. Okay, these arms are done and they look absolutely insane. Dude, those are like the coolest things I've ever seen, right? But unfortunately, it was time for the hardest part. As you can see in this video here, this dude just drops right down onto his stomach like it's nothing. Now that's not very easy to do. I can't just build a suit and start flying down hills. Of course it's not as simple as just building the rollerblade suit. I was going to need to learn the technique and master the technique, which means I was going to need an aggressive amount of practice. Now this was my best idea ever. It was a genius way of practicing the technique over and over again without even needing to wear the rollerblade suit until my form was absolutely perfect. Okay, confession time. I don't think that this is gonna help me with the roller suit at all. I just really wanted to do this today. This is extremely hot out. Um, so yeah, I guess it's time to get back to work. Well, one thing's for sure, I was at a standstill. The only thing I had left to build was the chest piece and I had no idea how I was gonna build it or how I was gonna strap it to my body. If I didn't wanna stay behind my friends forever, I was gonna need a big idea. Oh, I can't take it anymore! Let's hold him down and we'll bolt this thing to his chest. No, no one's bolting anything to anyone. Right, yeah, of course. Don't of course. be ridiculous. There's gotta be a way to do this. We're just not seeing it yet. Wait, hold up. Would you guys be open to motorizing this thing? Honestly, that would be way better. I think I got an idea. 
He brought to my attention that we had these electric skateboard motors that we used to make these crazy fast turbo shoes. Then in a very drawn out and over explained way that took too long, he explained that we could repurpose the motors and strap it to a vest, making it so I could lay down on my stomach and roll around easily. Then he showed us this level in his video game that he couldn't beat and he was like begging us to beat it for him and we were like, no way dude, this is your game. You gotta be the one to beat it. So we all just stood around and watched him play this game until he finally beat it. But at this point, it was super late, so we couldn't work on the bill, so we all went to bed. But the very next day, it was time to finish this suit. And we're done. This is swaddled on here like a baby. Honestly, I feel like a fraud father of a newborn skateboard. Not only will it provide some serious speed, but it will also provide a break, which is important for not dying. I think this is gonna do the trick. And once I put the rest of the suit on, this thing is gonna rip. When I showed up to go rollerblading with my friends, they took one look at me and well, it's safe to say I blew their minds. Well, this worked way better than I thought it was going to. I was going so fast and I was whipping around corners with total control. And not only was I keeping up with my friends, but I was blasting right past them. And they were having a hard time keeping up with me. Now, who would have thought that me, with the balance of a two-year-old, would be out here going 20 miles an hour on some rollerblades? Definitely not me. You know, this just goes to show that even if you're bad at something, like rollerblading, if you like it enough and you try and really put your mind to it, there's always a way to do that thing that you want to do. So yeah, don't give up on that thing. That's all I got.